Well, welcome. In this Mac support cast, we're going to take a look at the Pages application that comes in the iWork collection from Apple Software. This is Apple Software. And we have here the Pages app right here in Keynote. And Numbers was all part of iWork. Now I happen to have iWork 09. And in this cast, we're going to do an overview and begin the series on Pages. We're not going to try and cover everything in this one cast. It would be a, how long? A, an hour or more. What we're going to do is break it down into hopefully bite-sized pieces that you can eat one at a time and go back and just see a very specific section versus trying to go back and find where it might have been in a longer cast. So let's bring Pages up. And here's the first thing you're going to see when you launch pages is the theme theme or template. I want to say theme because I'm used to using them in web design, but template chooser. And these are all basic foundations. These are all malleable. You can change them. They give you a good start. Even the images that you're seeing in some of these uh, can be drag and drop and replace them. So all kinds of different letter layouts, envelopes, and so forth as we go down here. So let's find a quick way to sort these down a little narrower instead of all. You see I'm sitting on all. We can go into word processing or we can go into page layout. Now page layout is more like newsletters, brochures, flyers, posters, that kind of thing. Uh, if we go into word processing, we of course are letters, envelopes, all the things that you might use in business forms and resumes, reports, outlines, etc. Even some miscellaneous here, storyboarding, uh, meeting notes, evaluations. Uh, but if you don't know what you're looking for, for sure, and you just go to all, you can scroll through them all. And again, we have our little slider here to go down smaller and get through stuff a little faster. If you want to, then you get to where you want. You say, oh, there's a bake sale. I'm going to take a look at that one. That might be a good foundation for something for you. And the other thing I want to show you, let me bring these all the way up. As I float over the top of these, you notice that you get different versions here. And let's go up to some, uh, actually a quick way to do this is go down something like uh, uh, brochures. And there's different page styles. As we move our mouse back and forth over the top of it, you can look at the different layouts that they'll give you options of adding to your document as you make them. So that's a quick way to see what's available for each one of these is just to go, oh, okay, that one's got those different page styles. And you're not going to maybe use them all, but you have options with each one of those. So the other thing uh, you want to do here is once you click, you know, you choose one, is you can either double click on it here or you can just highlight, see the yellow box and then click choose. But before I leave this area, there's two buttons here on the left, recent. And if you look down below, I've been using it for some other things along the way. That was actually from my previous version of Pages. It remembered what I had opened with the 08 version. Now I'm in 09. And then open existing file. We click here and it's going to flip on over and takes us into an area where we can choose them. And you just navigate, that's a finder window, and you just navigate through your computer to find a document that maybe is older and is no longer in the recent area. So let's go ahead and choose a, uh, let's see, flyer here. I'm going to go down and just choose this guitar one, double click it, and it works on it, and up it comes. Nice little animation effect comes up. And we have the foundation of just about everything that happens here in any of the things I would have chose up here at this upper gray bar. We have all of our options we can choose. And very quickly, I'll run through these because we're going to go through them in detail, each one, how you use it, and work with each one of them. And some of them will require more breakdown so that you don't just get a cursory overview of these and you have to go figure it out yourself. We want to take this, give you the overview, then break it down. Then well, at the end of all this, my plan is to go in and actually create some documents from beginning to end so you can watch the whole process happen to help it make it very understandable. So this first one over here is different ways you can look at your work area. You can search documents. You can show the styles drawer. The styles drawer pops out here. There's some pre-made styles. You can see the header here, the title, where get learn guitar. Well, that's right here. And if I selected that, uh, any text in here, I can select a style here to apply to it. I can actually change those styles and update them to my own for this particular document. The uh, other things we can look at down here is the formatting bar. That's Well, this is where we have all the text formatting here. We can hide the rulers if we don't need them. Uh, show the layout items, and you'll notice here, whoop, they didn't quite, no, yes, they did, they came up now. These boxes, each one of these boxes is showing how things are laid out on the page. And you can get an overview of all that. You can also go back and hide the layout. 
Invisibles are things like the paragraph breaks, the tabs, and all the things you would do in a word processing doc. And comments will be going to use of those. This area right here will contain comments if they're added that'll point to sections of the document. And that's really useful to remind yourself of things or to, if you're sharing the document with someone else that you're both collaborating and working on it, you can put notes in there for them and they can check your thoughts on that particular section. And that, that's really a great little feature there. So we'll go ahead and close that out again. Of course, we have full screen mode. If you want to edit in that, it can get rid of all the clutter and you just focus on your work here. And you go, what? where's my menu? How can I work with the uh, formatting here? We'll just go up to the top with your mouse and put your arrow up here and up will come all the information you need. And you can exit it right here with the exit button and we're back. So that's a, just a fun way sometimes just to get rid of all the clutter and really look at your document isolated there. Now, pages here, here's all those page styles. There's only two plus a blank I can go in here. I can add another page here. And you'll note that this one doesn't have any tabs at the bottom, the tear-offs for advertising. We could work with that. Uh, we can add text boxes. We can add shapes into this thing, tables, charts, and all of that stuff. Now, we'll come to this iWork.com button here where you can share documents with others through that, and we'll talk about that later. This is an important one here. These last uh, four, I want to quickly cover those, and these are ones we're going to go in depth, especially this inspector, because you note there's all these different tabs here, then there's sub-tabs below that as well. So our, our document setup, our columns and layout, basically, the way text flows, our text, and the way it works. If I select some text, you see it comes active, and I can change the the line spacing and the text here, and I can go in and cause it to write justify. So this is area we'll talk about what all these buttons mean and how you can work with them and the other sub tabs. We'll have objects here that we can check. We have an object out that we want to work with as not text. And the same thing more about the info here with our tables and our charts and our links and even the media, stuff like uh, QuickTime movies might be in here. So we'll talk more about that. The media inspect color inspector, I clicked the color one. While we're there, we'll let's cover that. I jumped over the media <laughs> real quick there, a little quick on the trigger. And uh, here is your color picker with your different ways of choosing colors uh, through here. And we can, we'll be going over different ways to work with that. Now let's get the media inspector here. The media inspector gives you direct access to all the things like your audio and iTunes, your photos and movies on your computer. And you can scroll through these. And if we wanted to, we could drag an image straight into the, the document here. And then we would be able to work with it. Now, uh, of course, that image isn't right for what I'm doing here. I'm going to show you how quickly that can work. I'm going to hit Command-Z and go back to the original one, which is here. And we can do all kinds with this uh, of things with this and move it around. And the, even the flowing of the text you see there, we're going to talk about how to get that effect and use it to, and when not to use it. Uh, that's all part of the things that will come up in the detailed cast. And finally, we have fonts here. We have access to those up here in the, in the bar when we're in text, and I've selected text. You can see I have my fonts right here, but I can also go down here and bring up the font. This is the, actually the system, Apple operating system, font selector, selector, and you can go through and choose them from here as well. So all of those things are available to you to work on this. Let's see, anything else we need to cover here? Of course, there's all your font things. And if we go to images, well, now the bar has changed and we have access to editing the images. And if I click on this, I get this nice uh, HUD panel it comes up like it does in iPhoto and you can make adjustments to the images right here inside. So there's going to be a lot of things we can talk about here. And I don't want you to get confused at this point because there's a lot of things that, that this does and a lot of things you can do to make your own templates to go back and you know use them over and over again after you've created your masterpiece so uh, watch for those for the rest of the month this month and into the future as we find out uh, new things and as this application evolves and gets updated there'll probably be more things but this is just a quick overview to show you some of the things this can do and some of the things we're going to cover here and uh, i don't know how many casts it's going to take but i'm going to break it down into like i said bite-sized pieces so we'll see you in the next cast